Hello guys, this is Usman and uh, welcome to another session on ext.js. Today we will see how to get values from a form in ext.js. Uh, there are a couple of ways so we will uh, do that uh, one by one. So first and simplest way we are going to see today. Uh, so this is my form. I am assuming that you guys know how to create a view to set up a viewport in uh, ext.js and add a panel inside it and inside that panel we have a form and we have three fields uh, basically two fields and a button so we will see how to get values uh, from that form on the sign in click uh, basically there are a couple of ways to link event to uh, an element so we will do couple of episode on this uh, also so <clears throat> first of all today we are focusing on getting values from form and this is the first way to get values so this is how it looks like in a uh, browser and this is form actually this is how it is so yeah I just uh, uh, open the browser and the uh, architect side by side so that you guys can have a look and can see how it works <clears throat> so uh, nothing uh, behind this right now so let's start with the binding an event with it so when I write event I have basic event bindings here uh, I just click it and uh, find the click event and I clicked it and we have a event attach to that button just double click it and you will see this is a, an event and you can just write debugger so that we can debug that in our browser <clears throat> let's see how this works so yeah we have attached a debugger here so what we can do here is we can go to console and we can play now with it so as we know this is <coughs> sorry this is a button value uh, coming in over that event so let's start with button yeah you can see we have a button here um just another thing that we need to get uh, the form <clears throat> uh, which is parent of that button so form is equal to button dot up yeah we have form uh, right here uh, the form element to get actually to get the form from that form object we need to uh, call get form so we have sorry so we have the actual uh, values the actual uh, form to manipulate to play with <clears throat> let's uh, name it my form is equal to like this and my form dot get values will give us the values <coughs> from this uh, form you can see my email is uh, shown in first field and second field is empty as you can see this is the first way to get values uh, to fetch the values from your form on an event <clears throat> so let's see how we can get the other value as well let's say I give the password <clears throat> US USMN and let me clear it and I just click on the sign in again <clears throat> and when I go to 
Mm -hmm. Right here. And now if I get the form again, uh, like this, and if I manipulate the form values, my form dot get values. Now you can see we have uh, email in <clears throat> uh, first field and the password in the second field. Um, as we only get the values directly from the form, so these are the names, default uh, element names of all uh, form fields. So uh, this is this is the first and the basic, and we can say that the dirty way to get the form values. Uh, so how next thing is how we can uh, get these values from this object. Um, yep, we can get these values uh, directly like this, <clears throat> and let's say, oops let me let me let me let me uh, save these values inside the variable <clears throat> and then again let me <coughs> um, like this so in our V variable we have the value as an object the object has two properties first is value from uh, first field and second one is value from second field so this is how we can manipulate this object and we can get and uh, the prop its properties out of it we can uh, if we enter we can see that we have <clears throat> uh, printed uh, both of the values uh, from both of this field so uh, this was the uh, uh, manipulation and actually how we can get these fields we can just put the name of our element and uh, as as uh, like this and <clears throat> this this is how we manipulate the properties in ext.js so with this object we have this property and if we enter this we will have its value same here for one two three yeah this is how we can have the <clears throat> uh, its, its values uh, uh the values out, out of this object <clears throat> so uh if again we go to our uh event <clears throat> what we can do is var form is equal to button dot up dot get form this is how we will get the form var values is equal to form dot get values this will uh, this will give us the object and <coughs> uh, <coughs> let's say username is equal to um values of let me just copy paste this from here like this and let me copy the same for the password <clears throat> which, which is at one three and let me rename it with password so <clears throat> if we just alert both of these values his name in the in the alert let me just name is his name and let me concatenate the string for the password and password is <clears throat> uh, 
password just like that let me just refresh it <clears throat> let me clear the console let me just give it seven 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 and let me click the sign in <clears throat> so let's go down step by step mm -hmm. we have form inside this variable we have values you can see here in this variable we have the username in this variable we have password in this variable and if we can alert you can see the username is osman sullivan at gmail.com and the password is and 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 yeah that's how we can get the values of the form this is one way uh, we can say the first way the simplest and uh, not a good way not a recommended way to get values from a form yeah but there is another way to get the values from an object <coughs> instead of giving the uh, the the strings uh, because the name of these uh, elements are dynamic so we can't depend on the, the these names so what we can do is <coughs> uh, instead of uh, just <coughs> giving the field names here what we can do is var um fie and field values is equal to um object dot values this is the method of an object which give us the uh, values of properties of an object so let's give let, let us give the let us give this method the values object <clears throat> like this so let me just comment out this these two lines and what we can do is <clears throat> just let me just reuse as we know uh, the first property was the email and the second was the password so field values of zero will be our username and the values of second property would be the password so let's try this again <clears throat> this is more uh, reliable than the previous way what i comment out and i will check in the code on github and will uh, uh, you can find the link of uh, github uh, in the video description let us uh, just debug the code again now uh, let me give here one two three four uh, five six and if i click right here and debug the code you can see the field values here now in uh, it has two uh, items in this array and if on first index we have the email and on second index we have the password so <clears throat> this is um, more dynamic than previous um, way for getting the values and this is how the alert will show so that's it this was the first way uh, in our second video i will uh, i will describe the second way and the other ways uh, 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 th this is not a recommended way but but you should know because this is very basic uh, so till the next video bye bye